James Cameron's Avatar, the all-time number one box office movie, both domestically and worldwide, has been set to launch a trio of sequels starting in December of 2016. Well, you can scratch that, because Cameron <laughs> has announced that the first of the Avatar sequels will not launch in AMC theaters now until December of 2017. Cameron said the following, there's a layer of complexity in getting the story to work as a saga across three films that you don't get when you're making a standalone film. We're writing three simultaneously, and we've done that so that everything tracks throughout the three films. We're not just gonna do one and then make up another one and another one after that and parallel with that. The three Avatar sequels will shoot all at the same time and be released one year apart from each other. John, your thoughts on the Avatar delay? Uh, I saw this great meme online where James Cameron's sitting like this, and it says, my excuses are this big. Like, remember, the <laughs> Avatar 2, when they first started talking about this, they were talking about 2014. Right. Then it got bumped to 2015. Then, okay, everybody, we can now say with confidence, December 2016, and now it's December 2017. And look, I understand this whole, the whole mantra of make sure you get it right. I, I get that. I, I do. It's been six years. It's been a long time, well, five years, really, to be fair, that I, I just don't understand how when you have a team of Hollywood screenwriters, right, that you are, I'm assuming, paying a decent amount of money that are dedicating their attention to this when they're not playing online poker, that they're actually dedicating <laughs> their time and attention to this almost on a full-time basis that you can't come up in five years with your throughput story and then three individual scripts. Like, I, I know it's totally hyperbole, but it's just the premise. You remember Joss Whedon and the director of Cabin in the Woods, you know, the infamous story. They just went out, I think it might've been Vegas or somewhere. They went somewhere to a hotel for the weekend and banged out the screenplay for Cabin in the Woods in a weekend. <laughs> I mean, no, not that's, that's very much the exception right. of the rule, but I don't understand this whole thing about in five years, we can, couldn't come up with a story. I mean, look, for the first Avatar, you just looked at Dances with Wolves. Yeah, let's do that. And then you had a space <laughs> hopper, right? I, I just, so I don't get it, but look, whatever. It, the Avatar, I, I think is a little bit overrated, but I still thought it was a really fun, enjoyable movie that I liked an awful lot. I'm looking forward to seeing what James Cameron does next. I, I just don't understand the constant delays and delays and delays. Anyway, Christian, you read about this. What are your thoughts? I mean, if it was any other director that had said this, I think I'd be more on your page where it's like, all right, Michael Bay, just shoot it, blow up stuff, and let's get a movie out. <laughs> now, I understand what you're saying, even with the example of Cabin in the Woods with the map, but this is three movies that he's doing. So if you look at it, normally, if you were going to do it the way he said, if the, most people do it, is every two or three years, the sequel would come out. It's usually what happens. But if you're planning for a trilogy of movies, I understand it. I get it. If it. And like I said with Cameron, regardless of what you think of, of Avatar, the first one, I know a lot of people have, think that it's, it's a rehash of Fern Gully and Dances with Wolves and all that stuff. You cannot deny that when you watch it in the theater, if you in fact did, it was like going to a universal uh, city walk. Uh, Terrific city, excuse, experience. Universal city Great movie and experience. A studio, excuse me, and watching it and just it just overtakes you. So to know that he's going to give you a theater experience inside of this trilogy and you're going to revisit, the only thing for me when I go, uh oh, James Cameron, you're coming out right as the same time episode eight is supposed to come out. So for that, it's like you're taking away business for yourself because if you're going against the standalone Star Wars film, you're probably going to take it out um, or take you know or take business away. But I think episode eight is going to destroy it in the box office. Hmm. Shit. I've already forgotten what Avatar is. What is it? <laughs> it's blue people. Blue, and yeah. they're blue on a people. Planet. Oh right, and there's yeah. a weird spiritual tree that everybody. <laughs> Dr. Don't, Manhattan's in this Yes, one. Dr. Manhattan. A lot of flying lizards. Dr. Manhattan. Used to plug into the Triceratops. Right. Sigourney Weaver's in it. Yeah. Um, I can wait for 2017. It really doesn't bother me. We have so many amazing movies coming out this year and in 2016. When I, when I read that, I was like, okay, 2017, that's cool. At least it's not 2032. <laughs> you know, I think I would probably have a much easier time. I, I wouldn't be so skeptical about it. If, if Cameron came out and said, you know what? I've got this new technology I'm developing that I think would be great for my new movies, but we're about another year and a half away from getting it right. perfected, so we're going to put the brakes on. I go, okay, if that's your vision, but you got a team of five screenwriters that you've been working on full time for four years. Why can't, anyway. Well, on. Christian made the point that it's a great film to see in the theater, and a lot of people did just that. As yeah. a matter of fact, it broke records. So I think that All of them. if you look <laughs> at making these movies, and you're making three more, so you're going to have a quadra 
Phenia of Avatar <laughs> movies, <laughs> now you're in the theater and you get another one every year, then that kind of makes up for the mm. fact that you're not making a sequel every three years. Sure. All these movies are already done, so it's kind of like you're putting all your chips, you're just, you're, you're waiting for that right hand to come along, because now 2017 and 2018 and 2019, you're gonna get all that money based on a yearly thing instead That's of waiting great point. for three years. And That's the other a thing, great the, point. The other thing is it's not based on anything. It's not like we're adapting Tolkien, we have a spine. They're creating three right. new movies. So it's not just writing one movie in five years, it's writing three movies in five years before they start shooting people on digital weird sets with you know weird blocks all over them. They have to, sh they have to make sure that like, oh, episode two, we, don't, we're, we wanna be solid with what's gonna happen with all those characters because we're gonna be shooting everyone at the same time for all three movies. Granted, you could replace them a lot easier because of the technology, but it does make sense that, hey, if they don't have it completely refined, like our act structure for act two is not taking us to this third movie the way we want, why rush it, you know? I just don't know that 2017 is rushing it. Five years. But, <laughs> right. I, I mean, at this rate, they're writing five pages a month. So, I, well, there you go, whatever. <laughs> well, you know what? The movie comes out and it's awesome. Yeah. All this is yeah. trivial. It won't yeah. matter if the movie's awesome, right? Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.